Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 5 of Sunshine in the Mirror. So we've got to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Would that be Lilaps for training her? I mean, because, you know, let's go back to last week's episode and the issue about her saying, I'm sorry. Once again, you know, context, baby. What you sorry for? I'm just saying. I thought that was sheet music for a second, but of course, it's more in ancient language.
Maybe. But why? But you know, different is a good thing. You don't have to be like everyone else. But you've left stuff for her. What's up, Ruby? <laughs> I figured it was Ruby, but... <laughs>
<clears throat> right, I was gonna suggest that, like, honestly, so that everyone can see each other and we have the full group together. Sorry. But babe, mm -hmm. you can't stay here by yourself alone. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
You got this. Sorry, she's so freaking cute. Oh my god. I love this different side of her. Oh my god. Excuse me. Huh. Topado, oh my God. No, oh. oh, look at that smile. Oh. As a precious baby.
Never looking at sea slugs the same way again. Now, now. Oh, no, wait, 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 no, 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 time out, time out, time out. Y'all in these cliffhangers, what, what's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? This is a good episode, by the way, but what is wrong with y'all? Why did everybody have a discussion this season being like, yes, we're going to end most of these episodes on cliffhangers? Kenichi doesn't, Queen Deja doesn't like cliffhangers. So we're going to end almost every single episode in cliffhangers. Depending on how the episode is. Yes, the episode is so good, but we are still going to do cliffhangers for Queen Deja. Like, mm -hmm, yeah. Queen Deja has no tolerance for cliffhangers. I mean, I don't, and I'm not always into cliffhangers. It depends on it. But God dang, it, it truly ends on when the episode is getting really good. And it's just like, see you next week. And it's like... What? <laughs> Why? But I'm happy. Honestly, like, dang. If, you know, if Johanne, if Johanne was not my best girl, <laughs> it would definitely be Mari. Um, even through watching Sunshine and this, it would have definitely. Because, like, I love seeing this different side of everybody, but I feel like specifically for Mari, she's hella different from how she is in the original series and so like it's just cute like hella cute i love the fact that she's like uber shy very much to herself she she's like um oh my god what's the word i know the word because i am that um starts with an i more more okay i'll say like this homebody and stuff she 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 doesn't sometimes want to be alone, but she likes to be alone and stuff. I am the type of an, an introvert. There we go. That, there we go. That's the word I was thinking of. Um, I am sometimes like that. I, you know, sometimes when I'm around people, like my social battery just goes down super quick. And especially like when I'm at work, I, my, my battery is five hours, <laughs> five hours after that. I do not want to be around people, talking to people. I just want to go home. I want to sleep. Like, that's what I did. I came home after I got off of work today. I took a nap around, like, 4, 5 o'clock, and I woke I just woke up, like, two hours ago. And so I just, but, <laughs> I, I mean, I get it. I, I truly get it, because she, she was super afraid of coming out here. Going out there the first time and seeing what the world has to offer out there and seeing, you know, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Or even the dangers of that and her being like, okay, the only way for me to be safe is to stay here and never go out again. Like, after that, I'm never doing this again. And for her to be extremely terrified of going out and, you know, Johanne, best girl, coming in and just saying, come on, you know, like, slowly but surely coaxing her out. And Mari just taking that plunge, taking the initiative to go out 
after sending Daya all these little notes and everything about the town and such, which was really sweet. But at first, of course, like, she's very skeptical going into it because she's like, well, I look different from everybody else. Like, they're all going to judge me. And it's like, no, it's okay if you look different. I mean, you know what? All right, I'll, I'll use this one experience. Okay. So, majority of the time, my hair, I have natural hair, of course, duh. Um, but one time, this was a, a while ago, uh, about like two years ago, two, three years ago, um, I got my hair braided. And normally, like, I will either choose regular black braids, um, or like a honey brown, you know, like almost like golden brown, almost to just like black and such. Ombre effect. So I wanted something different. So I had decided to get black, pink, and purple, like with the tips and everything. Cause I was like, oh, I really want this and stuff. I was like, it was a birthday gift to myself. My mom did my hair. And I think when I got the hair, I was super excited hella excited and ecstatic and stuff I, like you wouldn't believe and I think when my mom put in like the first couple of rows um when we started my mom made like a weird noise and she instantly like made me like almost second you know <laughs> second hand track myself and be like oh my god this is so bad this is like, I'm regretting this and ish, whatever. This is going to look so ugly on me um, and such. I was like, it's going to look so fucking bad. And then um, once we were completely done and I got the crumps, uh, the hair curled and everything, and I went to go look at myself in the mirror, I was like, oh my God, like, damn, this looks good on me. And it was so funny because, like, every single day and any time when I went out, I got so many compliments from um anybody of any freaking age I got to little girls to freaking women who are around my age to a little bit older I think the one person who probably did a backlash um my mom and I were on our way we went to an outlet mall just like three five minutes away from me and my mom and I were walking together and I had walked past these two older black ladies and one of them had said something and such and so anytime when someone says something that's like an insult to me about like whatever I am wearing or my hair being braided a certain way with colors and such like I, I really don't care anymore I stopped really giving a fuck about what people think and stuff because at the end of the day it's not for you it's for me and such and so if I want my hair in braids with purple and pink in my hair for you it does everything for me it's because i want that and i wanted that and so i think there's like some really old videos i think mid 2020 and such maybe even 2019 on this channel that does have my purple and pink hair how i have a lot of pictures of me in it and i i loved it and i really wish i could get it back but i feel like now because of the job that i am currently working at um my boss probably wouldn't let me have the colors or he would he probably would let me have them for a little while and such or there was one time when i had um not the same color but i had blue streaks in my hair with braids and stuff um but i had my hair up in a bun i never had it uh down to where people could see my hair and be like oh okay she got black and blue in her hair and such where people would be like oh that's not really you know like a representation of like this or good for you know the establishment of the store and such because if you do you know have colored hair and such especially wherever you're working some places will accept that some places won't and so even my my previous manager besides this manager who I still work at the place for um my previous manager he was cool with it he was fine with that um but I have not tried anything with my hair with my current new manager because I am super skeptical and a little afraid where he's going to be like, mm, I don't know about that. But one day I might be like, fuck it, let's go. <laughs> and be like, I want braids with black and this and it together and be like, I'm okay with this. Um, or I've been secretly kind of thinking of doing like a, not a cherry red, but it's more like a auburn like darkish red and such I've seen because like I got inspired about one um 
episode of one of my shows that got canceled and such and it was like oh my god her hair is so pretty in the red and it was like it looked so good on her skin tone i was like we the both save the same the same freaking shade so it, lo it looks good on you it's definitely gonna look good on me but yeah like seriously regardless you wear whatever the fuck you want to wear you uh, however you whatever color you want to do your hair whatever style you want to wear if someone says they don't like it fuck them Fuck them. It ain't about them. It's about you and what you're comfortable with. Don't let anybody judge you for what the fuck you're wearing or what the fuck you have in your hair and such. And that's what Mari was feeling. She felt like instantly she was always going to be judged with how she looked. And everybody was okay. Uh, I cannot speak. Everybody was okay with how she looked. So do it. Dress however the fuck you want to. I'm just saying. <laughs> we all do have limits though. But however you want to dress, it's okay. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every time I do with Matches Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 6. Bye, guys.